Okay, let's talk a little bit about Airzine's trip to Moab, Utah. We had a great time driving out there. We were going up and down these ravines. I mean, one of the ravines was so steep that everything in the back seat flew off the seats, went down onto the floorboards. You know, it's like an airplane nosedive. I can't, I, I can't say I was a little scared, but uh, I had to go through with it because I couldn't jump out the window. So in the morning when we got to the hotel, we were grouped with everybody from Bell Tech and the whole film crew. There was still snow on the ground. It, it snowed the night before. You couldn't even see Air Design's hood scoop on the Ram because it was covered in snow. I know it was there because we installed the other day in sunny California. I guess you could call this real-time product testing from the sun to the snow. On the way, we started going up these trails. We were right behind uh, the Diesel Brothers and their Ram got stuck. So it took like about 15 minutes. They had to crawl underneath there and take off their uh, skid plate of the gas tank. It got stuck, uh, kind of just bent into the drivetrain. So that took a while, but you know, along the trail, we just it was we just kept going up, down through these ravines. Then we got to the top of the mountain. It was kind of cool because then it was B.J. Baldwin in his Gladiator against Diesel Dave in his Ram, and they were going up, down these these rock cliffs, and each guy was trying to outdo each other. They ended up uh, having some problems with the ram, like the front axle wouldn't engage, so, you know, just the rear tires are spinning, so, so the, uh, the Ranger, the BLM Ranger, he got up in his Jeep when he got the winch out and he pulled him up to the top of the hill. And BJ was talking about, you know, his trophy truck and the travel, and he was just really trying to put this belt tech suspension through the roof. I think there was probably about uh, 10 vehicles. You know, maybe on this on this thing, they all had belt tack suspension on, but you know, all the trucks had a six inch lift. So later that day, you know, after we were out there probably five or six hours going up and down, there was some mud and a lot of people were getting stuck and we had to pull a few people out while off-roading through all those hills, ravines, and mud trail. You can see the F-150 and the Ram outfitted with Air Design's patented Superbolt fender flares handle all the suspension torque and body roll. Both trucks equipped with air design accessories were able to hold up and perform through some of the toughest off-roading in Moab. After driving the Ram through all those off-road elements, look how clean it looks, proving that Air Design's fender flares with integrated mud flaps really work. At the end of the day, we kind of had to regroup. We got BJ out there with the Diesel Brothers and they did like a kind of a sunset photo shoot. And then they got the people in the crew got up there and get pictures shot with them. So you'll see if they got my pictures with those guys. So it was kind of cool meeting all these guys that you see on TV or SEMA. That was about the closest thing, you know, we get to SEMA this year because usually we'd be doing all that out there as our trade show that runs for the week. You know, that was a great time meeting all these guys from Bell Tech. They were very nice and uh, the whole film crew and we're gonna see what we pushed all these vehicles through. Because some of those uh, ravines that we went down and up were pretty steep. Just getting back to normal and talking to you know, all your buddies in the industry, so it was, it was a good time.